Let's program and be creative. It's time for MIT App Inventor. On this screen, let's go ahead and design our app. This will be the screen where the users will actually get their Star Wars name. They will need to enter in their first name, their last name, their mother's maiden name, and also the city they were born in. Once they do that, we will produce their Star Wars name for them. So let's design this screen. At the top, we're gonna have the Star Wars name logo. Then we're going to have a label that's gonna say what is whatever we need, and then a text box to get that information from the user. So let's get started. To start, I don't like this title, my Star Wars name. I want to change it to find out what your Star Wars name is. So again, right now I'm on the component, my Star Wars name screen, and I can change any of these components. I am going to change this to find out your Star Wars name. I also want to change the background image to the same one that we had from before. And I already know I want to align my stuff in the center. So I'm gonna do align and center. So now let's go ahead and add in our other things. At the very top, I'm gonna to add in an image, just like we did on the first screen. I'm gonna call it image logo. I am going to make that picture, our Star Wars name here. I'm gonna make it smaller this time. So I'm gonna make it, let's say 150 pixels high by 150 pixels tall. I'm going to scale that to make it like that. Actually, let's make it smaller than that. Let's make it 100 height by 150. Below that, we are going to ask the user for their first part that we need, and that is their first name. So I'm going to grab a label right here. I'm going to rename that label LBL first name. Now it looks like nothing is here but our background is so dark we can't see it. So I'm gonna change in the properties. These are all the properties for your labels. I'm gonna change this to white. So you can see it says text for label one, and that's what it says in this box right here. I'm gonna expand this box, and I'm gonna say, what is your first name? Underneath that, I need a place for the user to actually type in their first name. So it's not a label, it is actually a text box. So I'm gonna drag a text box over here. I am going to rename it inside of our components, TBX for text box, first name. Now it looks blank here in the App Inventor screen, but if you look at our emulator, it says hint for text box one. I don't want it to say hint for text box one. I want it to say inner first name. So if I look at my properties for my text box here, I can see hint. So I'm gonna put inner first name, press enter. And then you can see it updates. Now we wanna do the other four things we need from the user, their last name, their mother's maiden name, the city they were born. So we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna drag in a label. I'm gonna rename it LBL, last name. I'm gonna say, what is your last name? And I'm gonna change the color to white. And I'm gonna drag in a text box. I'm gonna rename it TBX, last name. I'm going to update the hint to say enter last name. And you can see that is updated there. Move along and rename it to LBL mother's maiden name. What is your mother's maiden name? And I'll change the text color to white. And I'm gonna drag in a text box. Rename that TBX mother's maiden name and update this to say inner mom maiden name. Or I actually, I'll just take out the inner so they can see the entire thing, mom maiden name. Lastly, we need one last label. I'm gonna rename it LBL and city born. Inside of my text box, what city were you born in? And again, it's dark, so I need to change my text color and make it white. And then I need my text box at the bottom and that's gonna be TBX city born. I'm gonna update this to say inner city born in. So there we go. Last thing we need is a start button. When they enter their information and they press start, we will give them their Star Wars name. So I'm gonna drag a button at the bottom. I'm gonna rename it. I'm gonna call it BTN for button and start. And the image we're gonna use is our Star Wars start. Now it is very big. If I change the text color to white, 
you'll see it has this text for button one on it. I do not want that. I'm going to simply delete that and press enter on my keyboard and it gets rid of the text altogether. Now I don't want it to be that big. So I'm going to, let's make it around 250 and let's make it around 75. Make sure you use pixels, not percent. And that looks good to me. So now that I have everything kind of fit in my screen, I want it to actually be kind of centered. So I'm gonna go back to my screen my Star Wars name screen properties. I align center components. So if I went back to left, you can see that. But I align center, but I also want to align vertically. So I kind of like that a little bit better. The last things we're going to need are not visual components. So we're not going to see them there. They're going to show up at the bottom in the non visible section. We're going to need a couple sound effects and we're also going to need text to speech. So I'm gonna go back in my palette on the left side. I'm gonna click on media. I'm gonna drag in a sound effect. This is gonna be SMD lightsaber. And I'm going to do source and select the lightsaber sound. I'm going to also drag in another sound effect. I'm gonna do SMD give to dark side. I'm gonna go on source and I'm gonna do dark side give yourself and I'm gonna do one other sound effect, S and D force be with you. And I'm gonna update the source and it's the force. So we need text-to-speech so our app can talk. It will speak the Star Wars name to the user. And let's just say we wanna share our Star Wars name with somebody, we can actually do that as well. It's pretty simple. We're gonna click on social over here. And you can see right here, there is a sharing component. Again, we will use a bunch of these throughout this year, but right now you're just following me. So let's drag in sharing. So if we really like our Star Wars name, we might wanna share it with someone. And with this, we are done with the design of the screen where users will enter in their information and get their Star Wars name.